Hello Chemist Corner. Today I want to show you the difference between these very popular beverages. Coke and Diet Coke. I'm sure you all know that Coke has lots of calories. Diet Coke has zero calories. Well, why is this so? If we look at the ingredient list, it becomes very, very clear. Coke contains a lot of sugar. Diet Coke, on the other hand, contains the artificial sweetener, aspartame. In the labels in Canada, the manufacturers required to list the ingredients in order, the one with the greatest quantity first, the one with the least quantity last. In Diet Coke, the first ingredient is carbonated water, which is also carbonic acid. Second is caramel color, then phosphoric and citric acids, aspartame, flavor, sodium benzoate, and caffeine. Regular Coke, on the other hand, if you read your ingredients list, also starts with carbonated water, carbonic acid, and then sugars are listed. Sometimes it's sucrose or glucose or fructose, anything that ends in os is a sugar. Then caramel flavor, then phosphoric acid, some natural flavoring, and lastly, caffeine. In both regular and Diet Coke, the first ingredient is simply carbonated water. In Diet Coke, the second ingredient is caramel color and then the phosphoric and citric acids, followed by the artificial sweetener, aspartame. For Coke, the first ingredient on the list is also carbonated water, but the second ingredient is sugar before the caramel color glucose, sucrose, fructose, anything that ends in os, that's a sugar. In my region, the can of Coke is 355 milliliters. That can contains 39 grams of sugar, which provides the drinker 140 kilocalories of energy. How much is 39 grams? Well, take a look. It's a lot. Roughly 25 milliliters of pure cane sugar. This much sugar in one can. In a beaker, you can see it's about 25 mils. When I pour it over my hand, oh, that's a lot of sugar in one can. So why does a regular Coke have 39 grams of sugar, then caramel color, where Diet Coke on its ingredient list has artificial sweetener aspartame as fourth on the list? The answer is very simple. It is because aspartame is roughly 200 times sweeter than sucrose. So to make Diet Coke taste exactly the same sweetness as regular Coke, it only needs one-fifth of a gram of the artificial sweetener, instead of 39 grams of various sugars in regular Coke. That means my can of regular Coke is 38 grams more massive than the same size can of Diet Coke. Same volume, more massive. That means the density of Diet Coke is roughly a tenth of a gram greater per milliliter than that of Diet Coke. This can be easily demonstrated in water. Now, there will be some variation in the cans, but usually, when you put Diet Coke in water, it floats. It is slightly less dense than water. But when you put regular Coke in water, it sinks. That's the difference in density between Coke and Diet Coke. One is more dense than water, one is less dense than water because of all the sugars. Which is healthier? Is it regular Coke with 39 grams of sugar and 140 kilocalories? A colleague once told me drinking a can of Coke is like a sucker punch to your pancreas. Or would you prefer Diet Coke with no calories at all and only one-fifth of a gram of artificial sweetener that your body cannot digest and turn into useful calories, but rather fools your body into thinking it just ingested something very sweet, causing your body to release insulin to, well, unsuccessfully absorb the sugar it thought it ingested. Diet Coke has the potential to cause a sugar crash, causing the drinker to then legitimately craves something sweet to counter the insulin surge. 
Maybe it's not so much of a diet drink. So which is best? Well, the answer is neither. Both are a shock to your system. It can be a treat, but it should never be a regular part of your diet. If you enjoyed this episode of Chemist Corner, please like, make a comment below, subscribe, and tell all your friends. See you next time on Chemist's Corner.